Hello my friends, the update is alive and I'm actually so surprised right now about what I'm about to say. They actually listened. They listened. If you look at the patch notes, all of the changes are actually changes that people asked for and requested. This is incredible. What is this? It shows your touches now on the screen? Did I turn this on some what? That is an interesting new change. I guess. I don't see the point. Maybe you can turn it off. Anyway, talent presets. God damn it, we've been asking for this forever and it's finally now. Here and now. And go now and see. Here you can easily manage your presets. Press manage button to load, save, reset, or delete your presets. Oh my freaking god, please do. I'm gonna save this preset right now. Uh, save preset. And I'm gonna call it as... Uh, basic, because this is my basic one. A beautiful! Okay, so now if... Let's say I want... So now you can actually do something like upgrade, downgrade... Reset you can reset just like up to this like start like look at this if I for example reset at this point I will only reset this particular node so once you press reset at anything it's gonna reset everything from this point up this is incredible this is freaking amazing like for example I want to switch from brutal ending to death mark technique I just do this or like, for example, like, I want to switch the whole thing. Let's do reset. It just gave me seven points. So I'm going to acquire, so I'm going to lose one point here. And now I need to add... Wait, you need to add one. What? There is so many settings in talent tree now. I'm still going to go for brutal ending, but you know. Acquire... Wow, and it's fast now. My god. I am so happy right now. This is so good. And now let's say I want to uh, uh, save this preset as, let's say, talents do. Doesn't matter. We're gonna, I can, and I can just switch them, right? And it, 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 it's not gonna cost me anything, right? Change the active talents. Well, yeah, that's the whole point. And reset, oh my god. Reset talents. Oh, 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 I'm in heaven! <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is talent preset. So we can we can basically customize our talents now as much as we want. This is incredible. I'm gonna be making a separate video soon on, uh, in my opinion, the best presets. Uh, okay, so we got Elder Wind Tower, which is just a normal uh, normal tower right now. I'm I'm gonna assume they're gonna release uh, the fatal one soon in a couple of weeks or months uh yeah this looks like a normal tower it looks pretty easy anyway let's see tower rewards random or mk11 raid and mk11 nightwolf for fire god luke that is actually pretty good two out of those four characters so we have 50 percent chance to get nightwolf for luke which is amazing i'm actually gonna like i actually don't even have my raiden maxed out so Three out of four characters that we can get are actually the ones that I need. Okay, I see. Let's see boss fights if anything changed. Rare equipment card. Oh, it's just regular rare. Okay, never mind. Gold and challenge card. Uncommon on 30. Uncommon on 70. Uh, rare on 110. Yes, please. Uncommon 150 and uh, rare on or uncommon on 190. I'm pretty sure that's the change, the chance, the change, right? Before we only got uh, a rare on 110. Now we have a chance to get a rare on 190. That is amazing. Oh, we can actually take a look at old. Oh my god, this is gonna be a separate video, guys. I'm gonna take a look at every one of these pieces of gear. Oh, they look so good. That is going to be a separate video, though. Fantastic. Souls. Common, uncommon, upgrade. Okay, support. Nah. Okay. Okay, let's read through the patch notes. Okay, Fujin uh, not released yet, pretty sure, right? There is no packs for Fujin just yet. 
Uh, nothing new in the store. I guess they're gonna add it in a bit. It's fine. Fine with me. Brutalities! We got Nightwolf and Aaron Black Brutalities, obviously. Now, guys, now one of the biggest changes in this update that is actually insane. Fix an issue with classic Ermac Soul Siphon that caused it to be disregarded by bosses in event towers. I don't believe you. I'm sorry, Mortal Kombat. I don't believe you that it, that was unintentional. Like, it, you, how? Like, you had to touch the dot immunity. You even added a new debuff that's called Magic Immune. How the hell can you claim that that, that was a bug? You just can't. I don't know what was that, but I'm glad it's fixed. So now, apparently, Classic Cormac is a god again. So now, guys... Let's let's freaking dominate the towers with classic Hermic. Fixed an issue with MK11 Sindel's second hit of her spe of her first special attack that caused her to miss when the opponent was too far. Never had that issue. Fixed an issue with MK11 Sindel that allowed her to use her passive Adenian Rhapsody during taking animation. Again, didn't have that issue. MK11 Jade's passive where blind opponents missed were countered as Jade dodges. Oh, interesting. I didn't never had that issue. Uh, fix the bug with the Justice to Raiden's second special could not KO opponents. Yes! Finally! God, this update is looking very good so far. Fix Kitana characters from not being able to KO opponents with, with their first special attacks. That affects Assassin Kitana, Ronin Kitana, and Mournful Kitana. I didn't even know that was a bug. We li that was... Wh wait, what? I thought it was a feature. Kitana's Power Drain special one never in the history of game was able to KO enemies, even when the first Kitana ever got released. It was never lethal. And now it is? So now we can kill people with special one of Kitana. Are you serious? That is a huge buff to every Kitana. Even Ronin Kitana. My god, Ronin Kitana just got a buff. Who could have thought? Bugs. Relic Hunt Tower Progress bug. Okay, uh... Crashes in Faction Wars battles, I will believe it when I see it. Fix the character immortality exploit, which could happen under certain combination of talents, equipment, and team compositions. This affects the following characters. Cold War Scarlet, Hellspawn, Scorpion, Spec of Characters. Wait, you could do something with Spec of Characters? I didn't even know, I just knew Hellspawn, Scorpion, and Cold War Scarlet. My god, they fixed Cold War Scarlet! No, no more immortality! It's fine, I never used it anyway. Talent uh, Revenant when it would trigger before death mark. Yes! Noob Saibot just got a giant buff. Fix the bug with the Divine Argus Cloak and, and, and Rain. So now Rain is fixed. Argus Cloak is fixed. F finally. Thank God. Uh, Divine Tornadic, Tornadic Pauldron equipment was incorrect event tower effects. Uh, yeah. Opponents being able to resist freeze from Kirelia and Bracer for Fusion X. In block instance, never had that issue. Uh, Fusion X effect of the torture equipment. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, when you reflected power drain, it drained three bars of power? Never never knew about it, but it sounds fun. Kind of brutality, uh, when female opponent had an idle animation on the brutality screen, fixed the bug with Jason Voorhees disappearing when his passive was triggered. Really? Fixed an audio issue that caused character steps to be too loud. Okay, that is good. Uh, we got tail- Col Now, the, the huge things. The huge things! Look at this. I want to complete first tower, let's say. Now, I can just click this. Let me hide my camera just so you can see this goodness. To skip. Boom. Freaking boom! Oh my god! This is the best thing ever. A lot of people requested it and they delivered. Boom. Now I can spend my coins to actually grind challenges. Look at this. This is incredible. Oh, that is such a good change. I didn't request it personally in my latest video because I just I just don't do challenges on my main account. And on my beginner account, I still need coins. So, boom. Skip. I just completed the whole freaking challenge. <laughs> oh, no. That is so good. And we got a silver pack who nobody cares about. So basically, you're spending coins to get coins. That is fantastic. Uh, the problem with skips, though, you don't get, uh, like, the rewards in the middle. For example, from battles 4 and 8. So 
if you want to maximize the soul gain from challenges, I would still recommend not skipping battles 4 and 8 in Tower 4 because you can get a bunch of souls. And also in Tower 5, do not skip battles 5, 10, and 13. But this is going to cost a lot of souls, right? Yep. Oh my god, 780 souls. No, I'm good. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, good change. And now, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Filter cards. By character. Oh, my dreams came true. Or by T. Oh my god. This is so good. I didn't even ask for this, but this is so good. I literally, it's going to be so much easier now to build a team. You can actually, oh my god. I'm, I'm in heaven right now. Honestly, we don't have any new game modes. We don't have any anything new. However, I'm going to I'm going to share something with you. I heard rumors from a pretty reliable source that they're working on something big for the next update because it's going to be 30 years anniversary of Mortal Kombat and there's going to be a lot of amazing new features. You didn't you, you didn't hear it from me. It's just rumors. But I'm inclined to believe those rumors, so let's wait and see. But honestly, for this update, for all the quality of life changes they delivered, I think they did good. That I'm saying that until we find all the bugs they introduced. Equipment. Now look at this. I want to go and fight with, let's say, uh, Black Dragon Tower gear. <laughs> God, I'm, I'm, I'm literally crying right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for listening for the first time in your life. Thank you. Now you can recharge character's energy in one tap. You just keep on keep on delivering the goodies. I love it. Not a huge change, but very appreciated. You can change the game language. You can send the account deletion request. Why would you want to do that? That is weird. Constant touch feedback is added. Player can change its intensity in settings. Yeah, I don't know what's the point of this. I guess so you can see where I'm clicking? I don't know. I guess I'm going to keep it for now. It's pretty good. Touch intensity. Interesting. Some tap animations fix. Some relic hunt menu fixes. Uh, characters, cards, and tower level animations have been sped up. Are you serious? It has been sped up. Now players can see the number of feats of strength items for individual characters. Okay, HP numbers and percentages were consolidated consolidated in Bottle HUD. Players can disable the percentage display in settings. Support non-Latin characters. Okay, okay, okay. Added audio effects to the footsteps and dashes to the characters. Improvements have been made to the rewarded videos. Now earn increased souls and coins just for watching videos every day. After watching your 10th video per day, you will unlock a free mystery pack, which contains rewards ranging from souls to character cards. That is That actually sounds incredible. Look at that. Inspect. Oh my god, so we get... For first video, we get souls. How many? How many? Coins, souls, coins, souls, coins, souls, coins, souls, and then mystery pack. Wait, I need to know how many souls. Okay, so so from the first one we got three three souls. Okay, I I just I'm just gonna go through all ten videos and I'm gonna see what's gonna be the total reward that I get. I don't know if it's less or more than it was. Okay, in case anybody's interested, you get in total 34,000 uh, coins from watching 9 videos. Also, you get 54 souls. You get 3 souls, then 7, then 11, then 15, then 18. 54 souls in total, which is absolutely incredible. Which is more than we did before. So you, you, you get incrementally more and more souls every day. And plus mystery pack that has a chance to drop gold cards, rare equipment, uh, survival stuff, and... Or extra souls. All right, let's watch the final video. Let's see what we get. Come on, give me, give me ten, twenty souls, twenty souls. That's what I want. Or, or gold card. 
This is my main account, but I'm going to do this on my beginner account. And on my beginner account, it's going to make huge difference. More souls, more coins, which I still need to... Oh my god, we got a gold card. We actually got a gold card, which is 30 souls. And this is not even it. Uncommon piece of gear, which could be rare. Opponent reroll for free. And 11... Oh. <laughs> so in total, I got 65 souls. Wait, it's not... Either or, you do get a character, gear, faction war stuff, and souls. It's just amounts and qualities are different. So, I just got 65 souls from watching videos. Bunch of coins, reroll. Uh, uh, th this is insane. This is absolutely insane. This is the huge buff to video ads, which probably means that my theory was true. They make most of their revenue nowadays from people watching videos because nobody buys those horrible packs. Makes sense. This is amazing. This is huge for every level of player, but mostly beginners because you now can get extra coins, which are always useful. You can get extra souls and you can get even extra characters and gear. This is insane. This is the best change of this update in my opinion. My beginner account is gonna be so freaking happy. That is amazing and you can do this every day. Damn! I'm I'm blown away. That is fantastic. All right, guys. Wait, you can refresh this. Wait, 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 wait. What happens if you refresh this? You can do all of this all over again. I have to know how how many times you can refresh. Okay, you know what? This video was a little bit too long. I'm gonna make a separate video when I'm gonna go through, like, uh, how many times you can refresh. Is it worth it to do refreshes? Who it's worth it for? But so far, it's still a huge buff, so... Uh, the video about that is gonna come out tomorrow. I'm gonna go through the whole thing on my beginner account and see what we can get. How, like, this looks amazing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite feature in the new update. And I'll see you the next video very soon. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Subscribe for more and thank you members and patrons. Don't forget these brave people who are actually amazing. Take care.